Last time on Mercury Madness. We competed at Seneca, improving vastly from Mount Olive. We ranked sixth in competition and qualified for the FMA championship. We also won the Auton Award again and Janet qualified as a semi-finalist for Dean's List. Now we're heading to Mar. Thursday, we started qualifications losing our first match. Our spirit was still strong and we were determined to win our next matches. Scouters in the stands were also keeping a close eye on other teams and the rest of our team was... That's it. <laughs> growing closer. After getting some time on the practice field, we were able to win our next two matches. We left on Thursday, ranked 18th and feeling hopeful. When we got into the pits on Friday, we were met by a prank from Mo. We weren't going to let that go unanswered, but more on that later. We started our matches with three losses, but as always, our picker was working hard to make sure we were ready to come back in our next matches. And come back we did. We won our remaining three matches that day, putting our rank at 16. Not gonna lie, the day did tire out a lot of the team, but we also came up with a way to get back at Mo for their prank, and when they got in on Saturday. We surprised Mo by putting their pit on sale. <laughs> Matches started with a tiny delay, but we found a way to pass the time. I'm here with Upper Jet, and we're gonna go do the chicken dance. Akshaw definitely stayed hydrated with someone else's Gatorade. Anyway, when matches started back up, we began the day with a loss. We quickly turned things around and won our last two qualification matches, moving us up to the 10th rank. During a line selection, we were chosen by Team 316 as part of Alliance 4. We chose 1676 to join us and complete the alliance. We crushed in the quarterfinals and our drive team was incredible. The pit crew was working so hard to get ready for the semifinals against the petty nemesis alliance that we lost to at Seneca. The first semifinal we unfortunately lost, but our spirit stood strong. In the second semifinal, our robot was doing amazing. Everyone was watching in anticipation for the final match scores, and we were the first and only team to beat the petty nemesis alliance, bringing the semis to a tiebreaker. Unfortunately, we did lose a tiebreaker, but once again, our drive team and pit crew were amazing. And... We also won the Entrepreneurship Award. Hey guys, so the day finished off. We won the Entrepreneurship Award just now. We're all very happy. To, overall, today went really great. We got to semis. Um, yeah, we were with the fourth, fourth alliance. We got picked fourth. And um, we won 2-0 in the quarterfinals. And then we were the only team to beat the Nemesis Petty duo. We got one game on them, and unfortunately, they did take us in the third game, though, in the semifinals, so we did fall there. We had a great day. We had a great tournament. Great run. It was amazing, yeah. It was great to see our progression from Mount Olive, where we had a really rough start, to Seneca, where we did a lot better, and to here, where we, I think, flourished to our greatest potential. Yeah, for sure. And we're pretty much a lock for Worlds right now, so signing off until Houston. See, see you guys. guys. There. Great job to all the teams who competed this season, and good luck to everyone going to Houston. We hope to see you there in Episode 4, Worlds.